If you like this video or any of the uh, segments we do here, please uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'd like to hear what your opinions are. Um, so let's uh, jump right in. Is Bloomberg is at it once again. <laughs> um, so Ooh, they, a flash sale. they say that um, developers are making games for a Nintendo 4K console that doesn't exist. At least 11 companies, including Zynga, have tools from um, Nintendo to make 4K Switch games. So uh, many people were surprised to learn that Nintendo, uh, Nintendo's new video game console is missing a common feature of rival systems, support for high fidelity 4K graphics. Perhaps most perplexed were the numerous developers who were working on 4K games using a software toolkit provided by Nintendo. Employees at 11 game companies said their teams were in possession of Nintendo's 4K development kit for the Switch. The companies span the globe, ranging from large publishers to small studios. That includes at least one that has never made a console game before, Zynga, according to the employees, who asked not to be identified because they weren't authorized to discuss their projects publicly. Uh, as we know, the newest model has an OLED screen, which is 720p. There are no major performance upgrades. Um, but a system capable of handling 4K isn't expected to be released until late next year at the earliest. People familiar with the plan said, that leaves Nintendo at a technical disadvantage to rivals whose shares have soared this year, while Nintendo's have lost 20%. This is stock shares. The company is still making a killing on Switches. So that's a misleading... Um, sentence i would say mm -hmm. it also risks alienating developers who have spent months tailoring their games to take advantage of upgraded hardware capabilities nintendo responded to a list of questions by saying bloomberg's reporting is inaccurate and declined to specify which parts of their information uh, it was referring to in a tweet after the story's publication the company refuted it is supplying tools to drive 4K game development and reiterate it has no plans for a new Switch model besides the OLED variant. I want I want I want Nintendo to come out with a, a Switch game model that's like even like reversed. Yeah, like it's uh, 240p. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like it plays like <laughs> it plays on a uh, CRT screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, after publication, Zynga spokeswoman Sarah Ross disputed what the people familiar with the matter said to clarify zynga does not have a 4k developer kit from nintendo um so as you can see what is this nothing burger of an article it, it seems like um it's like going back on itself yeah it's an ouroboros article yeah so i'm not gonna read the rest i'll post it in the description but um it seems like bloomberg has been wrong on a lot of things <laughs> and they are trying to they're trying really hard to validate their sources. Um, so they made that sources art that, that don't share anything aside yeah. from, from, from erroneous information. Yeah, at least at least give us a screenshot of what the 4K software looks like. You know, give what us I mean? a screenshot of your source. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to reveal your source, but I'm kidding. I'm you show us like you could show a screenshot where in the the, the program it says you know, export to 4K or something like that, right? Um, but they don't have anything. So it's a rumor. They're, I, th I just think they like going back and forth with Nintendo because they get a lot of clicks and suckers like us cover it. Um, hey, man, I didn't I, I didn't suggest this article. I, I know. Um, <laughs> but I, it's Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to this episode of Games I Speak. If you liked the episode, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.